Suzanne Ryman Parker, yes. owner of Powerhouse Bakery, yes. joins us. Yes, sorry about all that. That's so exciting. That's the way to start the year. Mm -hmm. So you are going to show us how to do a healthy breakfast, right? Yes. And that also tastes great and without it's, confetti. And it's colorful. Without confetti. Mm -hmm. And of course, it's got to taste great. We are doing a breakfast sandwich. Okay. Bun and all the goodies inside. We've got egg getting ready to be because that's what we're going to start with, right? Yes. The egg. Take okay. the fetti, confetti out. Um, we don't have to cook the egg on this one because I've already got them all cooked. Okay. But what I want to do is show you that we're going to season it up with a little Himalayan sea salt and some organic spices. Okay. And that's the whole point. If, if you're going to do this, just go all out and, and really add those spices to add those extra layers of yes. flavor. But also yes. pick the right eggs, right? Yes. Yeah, so free range eggs so that if you're going to follow a paleo diet, you know, uh, lifting up the quality of the ingredients is so important. So yes, we got to make that good. And now you're getting ready for the sausage and we're doing a homemade sausage here. So again, getting really good quality organic ground pork and we're adding our own spices. So none of those fillers that you might find in a different type of sausage. Well, I was going to say cuz a lot of people don't consider sausage being that healthy. Healthy. But if you're using organic good quality ground pork, you're really stepping it up the notch. Okay. And then so while he's getting that going, okay, tell us about what you do at Powerhouse Bakery. So we are fully loaded with good stuff. We're gluten-free and we really specialize in certain types of diets. So if somebody is um, working their way through a horrible diagnosis like cancer or irritable bowel syndrome, we take care of them there. Um, I, I work closely with ThriveWell. And then also people that are just looking for healthy. So paleo, keto, vegan and vegetarian. And this great little sandwich works so perfectly for so many of those diets. And isn't there, because I kind of saw something about this recently, another level of keto that yes. people are doing? What, what is it? I'm so glad you said that. <laughs> Clean keto. Clean keto. Which means taking out the byproducts, taking out the, the processed meats, so we're using high quality ingredients. So the keto bun that we've created, it's got three ingredients. It's got psyllium husk for fiber, it's got uh, free range eggs, and it's got a little bit of almond flour. So no carbs and lots of goodness. Ah. Now, a lot of times when people hear, uh, you know, keto and all that, and they think, I know, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I but, know, it's scary. But they may be eating keto anyway. I mean, that's just like a steak or something. Or, exactly. or even good, good quality pork. food. That's what we like to teach, that that's the way you want to get healthy. So good quality uh, meats. And here we've got some dairy-free cheeses. We always want to put lots of color on the plate that's healthy as well. Okay. We have a little bit of a some some trivia because this is National Trivia Day, and so to make those smart choices throughout the year. So, big question is: someone is going to eat a breakfast taco. What should they do to maybe make it not so bad? You, you know, I think as simple as adding in some avocado. Avocado is healthy fats. People love it. It's it, we're here in San Antonio, and avocado is made into guacamole, and that's such an easy way to add in healthy fats as well as some good quality flavor and stick to your ribs, healthy fats. Okay, and we're going to build one of the sandwiches right yes. now, right? So, so here we go. So this one's gonna be the, uh, the keto version. So you got your um, fresh pork that we made into our sausage, and then we're gonna add some egg. And then what we really use as the glue is the cheese. So of course on a keto diet, we wanna cut down carbs. We've got very little, almost no carbs in this sandwich, but we've got lots of good quality protein and healthy fats in that beautiful sandwich. And you can microwave it up and eat it even in the car. Oh Look. wow, that looks fantastic. Yeah, perfect. So, okay, another quick question. If you're having family pizza night, what can you do to make the pizza maybe a little healthier, not so bad for us? I say add color. Nothing we like did, pizza. With confetti. Right? <laughs> okay. Either confetti or you could use bell peppers and spinach. You could use a little bit of pesto sauce. So definitely adding color to the pizza. And then it's not a bad idea to have a little salad on the side and have the kids take turns deciding what special little crunches they can add. Maybe it's fresh berries, maybe it's some pumpkin seeds, but that adds nutrition quality to that pizza night. Okay. All right. And the second one we're making here is the... This is going to be the paleo one. The paleo one. And so again, it's going to have the egg, egg. Okay. and we're going to add the cheese as well. And we could even add some of this nitrate-free pepperoni. So 
It's got lots of good flavor. It's got pizzazz, and you can certainly use um, a pork bacon if you wanted to, but to make it super healthy, we just say take out the nitrates and keep it as clean as possible. Okay, and speaking about the clean food, if you want to head over to Powerhouse Bakery and Cafe, you are located where? Yes, we are at 4902 Golden Quail, right in the Medical Center area. Okay, and all these great sandwiches and everything else, and even I see some donuts over there. And some donuts, too. organic <laughs> spices, we got it all. Love it. For more information, go to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab.